Hi everybody, I got a new fun video for you. I got a new package uh, through DHL, uh, straight from Shenzhen, China, one of my favorite places to get stuff from. And it's a new fourth axis for my CNC mill. Now I did a video uh, recently on a 3040 CNC, which is sort of this generic format CNC controller, uh, all aluminum, good rigidity, uh, ball screws, and this is an add-on for it. There's a lot of these fourth axis uh, devices you can get on eBay. I got one of the ones I thought were better, uh, so I'm going to show you uh, the unboxing and getting it to work with Chili Pepper and Tiny G. Okay, so it uh, it looks like we've got uh, a pretty nice beefy uh, device here. Uh, it's got uh, a, a nice, it looks like that is just a, it's a NEMA 23 stepper. Um, good connector to it. This uh, clamps your workpiece uh, onto this. And then it is a timing belt, so if you can see that. Um, but it's a really tight fit, so this feels like this is going to be pretty sturdy. Uh, you know, I suppose, um, you know, this is bolted on. Uh, it looks pretty good. And then you get this um, this piece with it. And this is so you can, you know, generally, like, mount your, your uh, piece right here, and it rotates. Um... Okay, and then this cable is like the other cables on the 3040 uh, with these sort of uh, aircraft connectors. And then it looks like this just uh, goes this way. Looks good. And then some of these bolts and a little wrench because you've got to bolt down these four screws. These look like, um, let's see, I'm not sure what these are. These are, uh, I'm not sure, so I don't know, we'll figure it out. And then you get another connector for the back of the box and a little switch. Okay, I'm going to hook it to the base of the 3040 CNC. I don't know if you noticed, but I put it on backwards. So I had to take all the bolts back off and put them back on. They're pretty tough to get in there, uh, so don't make that mistake. And then lining it up is pretty hard, too. Just take your time and really try to get it straight. Now I'm hooking it into the uh, motor one of the Tiny G. It was pretty hard to get that connector in there. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I've got this pretty much done. I've got the... Um... A axis hooked into motor one on the tiny G. So I didn't need a lot of these little extra cables because these must be for like switching to the fourth axis on and this extra little ribbon cable. Uh, but I've got the uh, connector for the A hooked up. So let's now, uh, let's give this a whirl. So I'm actually going to flip on the power and hopefully everything's good. Nothing's going to short circuit. Uh, that looks good, and I've got the heartbeat light going on Tiny G. So now let's try to um, connect to the Tiny G through Chili Pepper. So I'm loading Chili Pepper, and then I've got to connect to my server. Uh, so I'm going to go to Scan for Hosts, and then... Um, Let's see, I have to hit scan here. I've got a whole bunch of hosts on my network. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 136. ACM 0, 1, and 2. Okay, that's a little bit odd. So let's try... Uh, let's try this. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then... Um, we could try jogging... Like in the Y. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's correct. That's moving. And then let's go ahead and try and do the A axis. Now, 
There's not a way to move the A-axis. I will turn it on here. But there's not a way to move the A-axis inside um, this jogging. So instead, we'll just do like a G0, A0, which is what we should be at. And then let's try a G0, A100. Now, we're getting some movement here, but it seems pretty weak. So what I'll do is, I know it's motor 1, and I'm going to take a look at motor 1. Remember, I'm on the V9, so I'm only at power of um, power level of like 37%. So I'm going to max it at 1. Okay. And then I'll go to A1000, maybe? Okay, I'm getting some better movement. Um... I'm not getting my A values back here, so I'm not sure. Maybe I don't have status reports turned on for the A axis. Um, actually, yeah, let's try that. So, what we need to do is reissue this manually. And I'll, I'll just have to get that fixed. I just never really is. Um, right here, I'll say position A. Uh, true. Okay, good. Now we're getting it updated. Um, and then I'm going to increase uh, for the A axis. I'm going to increase the speeds, um, velocity, and feed rate maximum. So let's say dollar sign A velocity maximum equals. Uh, let's go huge. Let's go 10,000. And let's say a feed rate equals 10,000. Um, it sort of just seems to be going forever here, but let's now say G1, A0, and the feed rate will go 10,000. There we go, now we're talking. Look at that speed. And it feels nice and torquey. Now I'll, uh, God, I almost want to go faster. Let's let's say um, feed rate is thirty thousand, and we'll also change the maximum velocity of thirty thousand, and then um, we'll now go to a. I'm still not getting those um, status reports like I thought I would. Position A. Let's make sure we did that correctly. Um, Position, position Y, position Z, position A. Eh, I don't know. Um, okay, and then let's do G. We'll, we'll repeat that. We'll just say A0, but now we'll go to A100. Okay, back to 0. Uh, but I think I'm allowed an even higher feed rate of 30,000. Hundred. Let's go a thousand. Now we're talking. Okay, so uh, it seems to be working pretty well. And of course, while I do that kind of stuff, I mean, I guess what I could do is I could say like zero. Oops, a zero. While I also move to y. I don't know. Uh, blah, we'll just say five. Eh, that's a little dangerous. Let's go to two. Nice. And then I'll, for instance, go to a thousand and then back to like negative two. And we should move here as if we're like drilling a thread or something. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. So, uh, got the A-axis going, and I'm going to have to um, try and actually mill something for real. Uh, but it's looking good.